What's up YouTube? This is Amo and in this tutorial I am going to show you how you can create a form in Laravel and store data from this form into database. Okay, here is our Laravel project and this is create.blade.php at views directory. It simply has a, a form which has two inputs. One of them is title which grabs the title information from user and the other one is body. Uh, which is a text area and here is the button okay we need to call this a uh, blade at our uh, roads so just write roads with the get method and when the user types create on browser this function will run and what it does it simply return the create.blade.php okay so after this uh, we need to make a model by saying php artisan make model and we call this model article here it is model article uh, model article is already created and after this we need to create our migration because tables in uh, Laravel uh, are created by migrations so we do need a migration for creating our table and we call this migration create articles table so our migration is successfully created here it is it has two methods one of them is up for creating the table and the other one is down for dropping the table okay and uh, we just need two more columns one of them is uh, one of them is guess what a string one which is title and the other one is X, which is body okay that's it now run your migration by saying php artisan migrate all your migration table created successfully let's check it out let's go to php my admin and here is my database and here is the articles table it has id title body and this is the timestamps by default okay this is great and now we are able to store data at database but one thing is remain which is the post method because our form is using the post method okay uh, here we specified the get method just for showing the form to user you know this is just for showing the form to user for storing data uh, from this form with the post method we need another route another route at uh, just name it create that play that php so we write route post again the create blade and the function and here we make a new variable called article and this variable uh, calls the article model and here we specify title and grabs the information from the input title by saying request and this request is uh, just as same as the dollars and underline post instead of writing that just write request this is easier okay then the body comes request body and then we say save and this save is also another helper function just like request but this one stores the data into your table okay this is the first way okay i'll show you the second way later now let's check it out let's go to 
create here is our form and let's just write title one and body one as you can see we have the error class article not found why because we didn't uh, include this class this model at our road so just use it like this use app models article and that's it as you can see we have a blank blank screen why because uh, our data is successfully added into database and we didn't redirect the user to another page that's why we see this page okay let's check it out yes our data title one and body one is stored successfully uh, but there is another way for uh, you know for storing data from the form and uh, this one is easier just write your model article and then use the create helper function how here it is write title just like before use the request helper function and title and then body request helper function and body and that's it but if you want to use this method this article uh, create helper function you also need to specify one line in your article model and that is uh, protected label and here you just specify all your label inputs from the form here in this example we have two inputs that are label so I just write title and then body that's it okay let's go back to create form and here I write two and body two okay and here again we see a black screen that means it works fine yes title two and body two if you want to redirect the user and uh, you don't want the user to see this blank screen you can also use this return redirect which is a helper function again but we redirect them into the same blade which is the create blade just remember don't use your view here uh, in order to you know to redirect the user just use the redirect helper function and that is important let's check it out one more time title 3 body 3 send 